Hello everyone and welcome back to another Scrap Mechanics Survival Mode episode. I hope you're all well and staying safe. Now in this episode we're going to be carrying on pretty much from where we left off. However you can kind of see I've had a little bit of a problem here. Uh, we've survived quite a few waves of uh, raids at night. However the last raid I just had was... It was crazy. I... I can't really describe it. We had a couple tape bots. Uh, we had quite a lot of the hay bots. Uh, we had even the warehouse guys here uh, shooting their potato guns. And we also had one of the bosses come. I managed to get a key card um, from this, but they absolutely annihilated my farm. They've broken the cow pen. They've gotten rid of all my crops. Um, uh, yeah, pretty much destroyed everything and got rid of all the seeds that I needed. The pineapple seeds and the broccoli seeds, they're all gone. Every single one of them is gone. So we need to rebuild this. And I think the first thing I wanted to do is because I'm a little bit short on resources is I've seen a lot of people been building piston cars and pivot cars and as well as the idea is good. Um, I just found that most of their creations are really slow um, and they just not they're not practical to use for everyday use here in Scrap Mechanic Survival, especially if you're doing like a scouting car or something like that. Uh, let's get rid of the tape part. Um, not good for if you're doing scouting missions, things like that. So I wanted to go ahead and try and build my own vehicle here using kind of the same kind of principle and ideas and see if we can make the fastest vehicle that we can using free energy um so we're here back at the mechanic shop and i'm just going to start uh, building a base up and we'll see where we go from there really so let's get about like, four wide i think will be fine and let's get we'll leave the seat till later and we can start building up the next part that we need and this is going to be the main part where our suspension is going to be at the back here so we'll just bring it out, probably about that much. That should be fine. And then at the front, yeah, I think I'll be fine at the front. Okay, so let's grab some pivots. You can see I've kind of prepared myself for this. I've got quite a lot of stuff. Uh, so we'll just bring two pivots out here. Let's grab some pipes, grab some of those, some of those, some of those, and some of those. And we're just going to do a simple, let's see. Let's go up one and then we'll curve around like so and we need to curve again like that and this will just be our basic steering slash suspension here at the front and we'll grab some suspension pieces two of those and let's get those down and then we need another two angled blocks. So let's go and grab two angled blocks. I don't know if we have any, we might have to make some quickly. Let's craft two of those and then we'll get our wheels and I have some wheels just over here. That's almost perfect. Be ready a few seconds. While that's going, let's do the back part. So the back part's pretty easy too. So let's get suspension. We'll need quite a bit of them. So we'll get Let's do a suspension piece here and a, actually not here, let's get it in the center. That should be fine. And then we'll get some of these cross pieces. And pretty much what we're going to be using is we're going to be using the pivots and some controllers to get free energy. But we're going to get it to actually be fast instead of, I've seen a lot of other ones that haven't really been that great. So let's just finish the front suspension quickly. Get that up, get some pivots on it. Done done get some wheels as potatoes don't need potatoes need wheels go away okay and uh, let's get the wheels on okay so that's our front suspension done and now we can kind of line everything else up with that this might actually be a little bit too low so we'll get that one block higher let's bring that down let's grab our metal here and let's build the layer top. Cool, that should be fine. Get rid of all this we don't need. Perfect. And we can get our suspension back here now. So we can get one piece. 
Let's get one here and grab another suspension block. Another one there. Okay, and we've got our pieces ready and let's continue building this up. So we can get this here. Another one here. And then pretty much the trick is just to use pivots along the way. So we can just switch here between five and seven. Five, seven, and we want to get five on each side. Tested it and I find that's pretty much the sweet spot. You can increase it if you want some more power and we might try to do that today, but let's just see how we get on first. Okay, so that's four and five, so we need one more on this side. Okay, that should be good. Great, we can get some wheels on that. Okay, one set there, one set there, and we can do the same now. We're going to actually do a double suspension here at the back. We just need some more blocks here. And let's see, is this... That should be far enough out. Yeah, that should be fine. And we'll go and get some more blocks on here. Done, done. You don't want to actually connect those up. You can leave them separate. It does help actually quite a bit. Especially with suspension, you'll see that in a few seconds here. When we get going, it becomes much easier to use when it's separate. Let's just check the wheel does fit. Yes, it does. Great. And we'll do the same on the other side. Bearing pipe. Yeah, let's get some more bearings. Okay. And increase it out. There we go. Let's get the last one. And dunk. okay, so we have all that on. You don't want to tighten up the suspension too much just yet. Suspension in the front is good. Uh, we can then drop it down. Let's put some. Let's put a seat on it. Let's see, we need to steer it. So seat on, and then we need some controllers. So we'll grab two controllers. These are both upgraded. So that makes it a little bit easier. You can put two anywhere you want. It doesn't really matter to be honest. Uh, and let's start getting things connected up. So we're going to take the first controller and connect it over here. We're just alternating between left and right hand side. Get them all connected up. Nice and easy. And then take the second controller. Do exactly the same. Doesn't matter if you do it in or out. Exactly the same across the band. Okay, so those are two connected up. Take the seat. Get that connected to the controllers. Okay, and then the seat to our steering and then we can go into the controllers and then what you want to do is take all of them and put them to 360 so just literally scroll down through all 10 of them should be 10 so just check everything is connected there you can see that one hasn't been connected so there should be 10 of them put it on fast speed and put it on loop we're going to do the same with this one so 360 on all of them here and this will not cost us absolutely anything on fuel to run and that's the whole point of this is to have a fast vehicle um to run around with that doesn't cost any fuel make sure these all have the blue arrow facing the right way there we go and uh, these ones too so it goes forward uh let's check our steering so yep steering is good we might want to increase the suspension just a little bit at the front here put it on full <laughs> and then once we have it on fill we can then go to the back the back is fine actually let's leave it for now and let's see how this goes well that does really well actually nice and quick we could probably even lower the front suspension just a bit that is actually really good it's nice and quick brakes well the suspension at the back is great you can increase the strength of it but it is important as you can see as when you put your first initial spin it digs down and it actually has really good grip here uh, even the front has really good grip you can if you want to also put some pivots on the front now we can make this even quicker uh, let's see if we have the right components to make it a little bit quicker here so grab it put it on the workbench again and you can simply do that you could actually add more wheels here and then make it quicker but we could let's see if we have 
We should still have some pipes. Yeah, we do. Let's make a few more, just in case. Hmm, four should be fine. So, one, two, and grab some more pivots. We actually don't have any. Let's see if we have any in any of our crates or anything. We have another controller that we'll need, so we'll grab that. And we don't have any more pivots. Let's see. Have any in this chest over here. There we go. I knew I had some somewhere. Okay, so let's put those on. One, two, and let's grab our pipes. That should be just about ready. And put those on. One, two, and another two pivots. So we're increasing this now even more. Another pipe, pivots, and we'll need a few more pipes. Two more. And let's get that on. Another one, another pivot. Let's get the wheels on the other side because that side's done. Let's go check on these. One's ready. One more pivot. Another wheel. Missing one wheel, I think. Wherever that disappeared to. Let's see. There it is right there. Grab our last pie piece. And one last pivot. Okay, cool. So we got that on now. So we can lower that down again. Let's get our last controller. Now you can, this one hasn't been upgraded. So this one can be upgraded if you need it to be. I don't know if I have, let's see. Oh yeah, I have some controllers. Let's, uh, I think I have some more. Actually, yeah, I've got quite a few. So let's upgrade this one. Why not? Upgrade. There we go. Super fast one. Happy days. Let's go and now get that one connected to the last four pivots on either axle. Once again, just alter alternating between them. Okay, and it's on loop. Make sure it's on loop. Get them all to 360. Should be, I think, what, eight connections? Yep, great, eight connections. And then you can actually hook that straight up to the seat if you want to. Uh, I'm going to use a toggle button here to like enable and disable the like overdrive system of some sort. So we'll just put a switch here. We'll get that connected up to the controller, that connected up to our seat. Uh, and that's pretty much about it. So it should just work how it used to. Exactly the same. So as you can see here, running exactly the same and overdrive. Okay, you know what we forgot to do? We forgot to go and switch the rotation. You can see here the rotation on the side is the incorrect way. We'll get that on, take it down, bring it forward again. There we go, so we're going quite a decent speed. And overdrive, that is quick. And it handles well. The suspension of the back is really doing some work. Let's get that off. You can see it works off-road too. And you guys could like build this up now and just add extra things and more and more things to it. It does off-road, it does pretty much anything you need it to do. It needs to add some lights onto my version. But um, yeah, I think, you know, for a free energy car, three controllers, a couple wheels, a couple pipes, and a bunch of pivots, and this is really quick. Um, I don't know, you guys let me know in the comments below if you've seen something quicker that's free energy uh, and uses like this little amount of components. But I don't know, I think it's really cool. Um, I'm gonna build this out and make a proper car with this and add all my crates onto it and pretty much have this as my main car and maybe even build a few more of these. Um, and you know, if, if you have too much weight at the back, you could always just increase the suspension at the back. But having it as, as floppy as it is at the back really does help when you're going off-road and you have that much torque. Um, but yeah, really cool creation. So that's built now. So I'm gonna get that all finished up and we'll see what it looks like when it's done. So there we go. We've added everything we need onto it. Um, probably a little bit excessive on the weight. We probably could reduce the weight here by going and removing quite a lot of these metal blocks. But yeah, that's pretty much about it. Um, I think this is an awesome free energy car. Um, as I said, with the amount of components that it uses, uh, it's really quite basic and it's really good, I think. And to be honest, I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments, but I think it's the fastest one um, that is currently available. 
But you guys let me know what I could possibly improve on this. Uh, I'm going to build up more on it. Probably change a couple of the metal blocks. Put some wood blocks in the center of it. Because uh, we don't need that much weight in it. But yeah, we could probably reduce it. We can even make it uh, front wheel drive. By adding some more pivots in the front. That might increase the speed even more. Uh, or we could just add some more axles on it. That would also increase the speed. And it does a good job at even getting rid of those guys. Um, but I think the next episode I'm going to be working on is going to be on building a new base and probably doing new farming. Uh, we need to kind of find out some way of protecting ourselves a little better, especially against the bosses and things. Um, but yeah, I think I think that's a good place to end this episode off with. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments below what you guys think I should improve or what else you think I should build. Uh, I think I might build another car for mining and for logging. Uh, but you know, guys, let me know in the comments below. And while you're down there, don't forget that like and subscribe button. And I hope you find it somewhat entertaining and informative as always. And we'll see you in the next one.